The thing that I liked most about Michael Jordan as a player was the fact that I didn't have to try to guard him. <laughs> and on a chilly February night. Back forward. And back forward. Greetings, everyone, from Chicago, the host of the 1988 All-Star Game. Alongside the terrific Clark Kellogg and our reporter David Aldridge on the sidelines, I'm Kevin Harlan. And Clark, this terrific city has produced some greats, and four of them playing tonight. You're exactly right, Kevin. The Windy City, Chicago, has produced Mo Cheeks, Isaiah Thomas, Doc Rivers, and Mark Aguirre, all All-Stars. And I'm sure they've got plenty of family and friends in attendance to enjoy their performance on the court. Yep, so much to celebrate. And Clark, is there a common thread when you think about a Chicago-type player? Well, I certainly do believe there's a common thread. When playing outside or outdoors in the Windy City, the perimeter shot can easily get blown off course. So you got to be able to get that thing to the right and in a straight line fashion. And that's something all Chicago players share in common. A lot of high flyers, you're right. And your West All-Stars, Fat Lever and Magic Johnson, the guards, Alex English and Carl Malone at the forward spots, and in the middle, Hakeem Olajuwon. For the East, it's Moses Malone inside, and Dominic Wilkins with Larry Bird, the forwards. And in the backcourt, Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan. And you look at Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, rivals since college, early on, no love lost between them, but over time, they've become friends. Now, here's Jordan. Following the miss by Hakeem. Yes, that goes in. Michael Jordan's got his second bucket of the night. And Michael Jordan, not only last season's leading scorer by a mile, but Clark Kellogg this season, he is in the running for the Defensive Player of the Year. He is the true definition of a two-way player. Gets it done at a high level at both ends. Mm. Hakeem, Hakeem Olajuwon. Something special to see. Clark, you see Larry and Magic together in those Converse ads. They've become really the faces of the NBA. And Kevin, I think they've inherited the mantle from the great Dr. J. He's done such a great job representing the league all these years, and certainly he's left it in good hands with those two. Yeah, that's a great comparison. And plenty of subplots to this game. For more, let's send it over to David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, this story has never gone away over the years, guys. Isaiah Thomas is, of course, a bit of a but you'll still hear some booze today from Bulls fans. That's because at that All-Star game a couple of years ago, people questioned whether Isaiah froze Michael, out Michael Jordan. And some people still believe it. Guys, back to you. Yeah, that story has not gone away. Thank you, David. For what it's worth, Clark Isaiah Thomas denies there was a freeze-out, and Jordan himself says, I never said it, so what do you think? Well, the reality is, we probably never will know the full story. And Michael Jordan winning the dunk contest yesterday, Clark. Can he add to his trophy case tonight? Kevin, I think his teammates want to see him win the MVP. I think they're going to give him as many touches as he needs to have a chance to do it. Ooh, that'll be fun to watch. And the Eastern All-Stars favored to win tonight. Star power and firepower. Veteran IQ and smarts. But you never know. The West has quite a bit of talent, too. Indeed, they do. Here's Lever. Following the basket by Michael Jordan. Malone trying to break free. The East All-Stars check on two more. Parkin amidst this All-Star celebration, labor negotiations between the players and the NBA continue. Trying to find their way through this current impasse, Kevin, and looking to avoid any interruptions to this game that we all have a love affair with. Yeah, I know you and I hope they can find some common ground. Please make it happen soon. And tonight's All-Star MVP will have a $5,000 check presented in their name, Clark, to the Thurgood Marshall Black Education Fund. A great cause in honor of a terrific American. Here's Lever. After the made shot from Michael Jordan. Two minutes remaining. Six on the shot clock. Two minutes. Malone sets the pick for Lever. Johnson, a wide-open look. The West again cannot hit. 
Hey, Clark, the record for points in the All-Star game is 42, set by Wilt Chamberlain back in the 1962 All-Star game. And, you know, a lot of Wilt's records seem virtually untouchable, but I don't think that one is. With all these great scores, who knows? It might be broken tonight. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Mm. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. And if there was a snub part for this year's All-Star game, many fell to play for short-shooter Chuck to the Sonics. Well, you take a look at what he's done. He's the only top ten scorer in the NBA who was not an All-Star. Yeah, the Tennessee Volunteers should be here. Here's what the East is going with right now. Ewing comes in for Moses Malone. And it's Rivers in for Isaiah Thomas. The West All-Star is also changing it up. Abdul Jabbar has checked in for Elijah. Worthy comes in for English. Clyde Drexler has subbed in for Lever. And Kareem looking to set the career record for All-Star scoring. Isn't that something? It really is. Needs just 10 points to do it, Kevin. And you got to love his chances. I mean, that's a layup for him. Pun intended. <laughs> Good one. And at 26 points per game, Drexler ranks seventh in the league in scoring. His Blazers playing catch up with the Lakers, though. Their improved defense has helped them overcome some early injuries. And starting last season, Clark, Michael Jordan's scoring went through the roof. <laughs> Averaging over 37 points per game, partner. And he's kept close to that pace this season as well. Remarkable. Oh, oh, amazing and remarkable. Right. Wow. He gets it in there. Why? Drexler's got his second basket of the night. And if there's a rival for the size and athleticism of Michael Jordan Clark, it might just be Kyle Drexler. I don't think there's any question about it, Kevin. The five slam of Jamma alum can take flight with the very best of them. Yep, great athletes. Johnson outside. And it's Worthy in the corner. Outside, Drexler over Rivers. And the last second attempt is not good. Michael Jordan's getting it done for the East All-Star. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring the you Ten. Welcome back, everyone, to the 1988 All-Star game here in Chicago. As these great fans hope Michael Jordan can bring home the win and the MVP hardware. And the head coach of the East, Mike Fratello, his first time coaching in the All-Star game. On the floor for the West All-Stars, we've got Drexler. Malone is out there with McDaniel. Then it's Kareem, and it's Johnson in at the point. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. How about that? Mike's a terrific friend of yours and mine, and Fratello's Hawks recently moved into first place in the East. After the Cavs beat the Celtics, Clark enabling him to become the coach of the East All-Stars. So don't be surprised if the Cavs Brad Doherty gets extended minutes in his first All-Star appearance. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> <laughs> and here early, Clark, the East has the edge. You look at that team on the East squad, an embarrassment of riches, Kevin, and you know, they've got so many weapons. I think it simply comes down to execution for them. The East All-Stars check on two more. Playing well on both ends of the floor, stifling defense and dangerous O. That's a heck of a combo. Drexler left side. Makes it off the glass. Why? Drexler's got six. And enjoying his finest pro season, Clyde the Glide Drexler making his second All-Star appearance. Worked over the summer with Kiki Vandaway to substantially improve his jump shot. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Drexler against Rivers. Drexler dishes to Abdul-Jabbar. Pass to Johnson. Some nice passing here by the West. Drexler kicks to Johnson. Malone trying to break free. And it's Johnson. That time on the assist by Drexler. Johnson's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Coach Mike Fratello, a colleague of ours, coaching in the All-Star game, standing tall 
amongst a bunch of tall guys in the NBA. You know, his dad was an amateur boxer, and, you know, I think that background gives Mike a lot of confidence as a coach. Malone looking around. The open shot by Johnson. Again, the West Magic All-Star. Johnson. Magic Johnson in his eighth All-Star game now. Second in All-Star votes this year. And he hosts his own All-Star game in the summer in L.A. as a fundraiser. And I understand it's quite an event. And Clark, not easy for these coaches to put their stamp on the game. Only a one-hour practice yesterday to get acquainted and move through some sets. And you know, Kevin, it's not about necessarily practice time. A few offensive sets is all that's needed. I think it's how you manage the players and give them a platform to have fun and do what they do. That's a good point. Timeout called here by the East. They're going to talk it over. Thomas the court. checked in for you. Elijah Wan's checked in for the West. Lever comes in for Clyde Drexel. From the line, another field goal for him. Magic Four for six shooting tonight. Magic Johnson leads the league in assists, and he's also got the most assists in All-Star game history. He processes the game at another level, folks. On the drive, MJ is so ferocious, he never even thinks about slowing down. Pedal to the metal. Johnson, the pass to Elijah on. The vision of Magic Johnson is unsurpassed. How about this? Is players who have never missed an All-Star game Shooting in their clean. careers. Jerry West, Bob Pettit, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, and Akeem Olajuwon. Those last three playing here tonight. Aguilar's checked in for the West. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The throw good, Jordan. And the West All-Stars have possession. It's an 18-point game. Johnson, the pass to Elijah Wan, and stolen by Jordan. And he converts the layup. Jordan's got 41. And Jordan Clark within reach of the record. He's almost there. Keep that pedal to the metal is what I say. Now the pass to Lever. And it's a defensive three-second violation. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Shooting and the technical free throw is good. Johnson is really one of the more unique point guards that we've had in the game over the years. And he's able to do it with style and substance. Were these checked in for Carl Malone? Two minutes and remaining to in the first half. Two minutes. Lock at six. Johnson, the pass to Elijah on. Some solid defense from Gordon. The East leading by 19 points. And now let's go over to David Aldridge with a report on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Thank you, Kevin. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the oldest All-Star in history. This is his 17th game. No one else has been in more than 13. To put that into context, there were six players in yesterday's Legends Magic game Johnson. that were younger than Kareem. Magic Time Johnson out. says he respects Kareem more than anyone I know because of the pride this man has in whatever he does. Kevin, back to you. He is a very David, thank you. Moses Kareem's Mello. coming out here long after spending man. two days in bed with strep throat. I mean, it's remarkable. And Kevin, that's Larry exactly Bird. what Pride Magic was talking about. And that's why it seems like every game we do, Kareem is adding to some type of record that he's already established tonight. He could very well become the leading scorer in the history of the All-Star game. Isn't that phenomenal? They call him captain for a reason. He is truly the leader of this entire NBA. Yes, sir. And McHale, the basket on the assist for Michael Jordan. And the East leads by 19. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the West. Passes to Aguirre. There's 42 seconds left in the second quarter. Were they trying to break free? Aguirre, no good. The East leading by 19 points. Pass to Thomas. Over Lever. The East All-Stars check out two more. Yeah, the jump shot of Thomas. Cash money 
Boy, it's nice seeing him knock down that mid-range jumper. Here's Johnson, and Magic Johnson with the slam. Johnson. And Magic Johnson, Clark, made it clear coming into this game that he wanted the challenge of defending the great Michael Jordan. He certainly did, and the West as a team will certainly have their work cut out for him trying to slow that guy down. That is going to be fun to watch. Great D that time from Jordan. So it's the East All-Stars taking a 19-point lead into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with fear. And we welcome you back to the second half of the 1988 All-Star Game here in Chicago. Great performances from these players, whether it's their first time participating or their 17th. The West trails by 19. You know, you get into the latter stages of the game, and it's normal to wonder who will take home the MVP trophy. It's certainly one of those accolades that's mentioned when you talk about the great ones. Bird is out there at Wilkins. Then it's Thomas. Then it's Jordan. And it's Malone in at the final, roaming the paint. That's the group for Mike Fratello. He's going the here in the hard. second half. Moses Boy, that was a nice play by Lashon there, getting the sound off. While still drawing contact. The West All Stars have been perfect at the line so the far, West, albeit just two for two. Hakeem Olajuwon at the line for two. Olajuwon drops them both. And of the players in tonight's All Star game, Clark, two have won MVP trophies in this game before. Larry Bird and Isaiah Thomas. How about this, Kevin? Thomas has won two out of the last First four years. Ball. If he was to get three MVPs, ball. that would put him in some rarefied air time with Oscar Robertson. For second most, Bob Pennant is the only player to do it four times. And the East with the lead. Living up to that favored and top billing and giving these fans quite a show. Here's Elijah on. Goes back up. And Jordan sends it back. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. Getting his hands up to block shots. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. Johnson surveying the floor. Elijah on inside, working on Malone. Malone sets the pick for Lever. And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, you can't go for this if you're the defense. I mean, once Malone has you in the air, it's over. You're done. And Clark, the slow start for Michael Jordan is beginning now to get some momentum and heating up. And the fans starting to take notice. They're feeling it a little bit, making some noise. They're certainly hoping he can make it happen. The West trails by 19. Johnson kicks to Lever. Over Thomas. And he can't bank that one in. Jordan outside. And here's Bird from the arc. And the shooting stroke of Larry Bird. As pure as it comes. Larry Bird had it going last night at the Legends game. Trying to fill it up tonight as well. Lever passes to Malone. Hit ball. Great assist by Lever. And you know, before every game, Carl Malone calls his mother back in Summerfield, Louisiana to ask what numbers he should shoot for. Tonight, she said go for 25 and 11. And this is why you just can't give Jordan a running start. I mean, once he has that, the launch pad is set, and he's going to ecstasy right through the air and on top of your head. Here's English. Rebound by the East All-Stars. You know, there's been talk about adding a third referee to NBA games. The commissioner and the rules committee are in favor of it. And they plan to put it before the board of governors at the next meeting. What a competitor. He's been looking for a shot all game long, and he's really shouldered the load for them offensively. Here's Johnson. Nice concentration in the double push lane. Johnson's got 15 points. At his position, the point guard, there are not many players that possess the size that Magic Johnson has. And he knows how to use it on the interior. 
And Clark, with three officials working games, do you think that'll result in more fouls being called, more eyes on the ball? They can pick up a lot more, certainly, with more guys out there. Yeah, you know, I think, Kevin, it might be the case early on with the third official, but over time, it'll smooth itself out off the ball. You know, some things you could get away with in the past, maybe not so much with three officials out there. Malone finds Jordan, and they double up Jordan to the middle. Here's Thomas. Yep, it counts. Uh, Thomas got his second best of the game. Boy, inside, the defense goes all out trying to stop Thomas, but he stays focused and manages to get around them for the bucket. And, you know, most of these guys are accustomed to having their team's offense built around them. It's an adjustment for them now to figure out who's going to get the run most of the time. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. And you think about it, Justin Clark, how about the All-Star Reserves? Guys that start normally are the stars of their team, now off the bench on a team of stars. Kevin, excellent point. For players who are used to starting the game, probably a rare experience coming in off the bench. The 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 court. Court. These guys so enjoy being part of this. That sacrifice is not much at all. You're exactly right. Catching up on the changes for the East. Kevin McHale, who checked in for Bird. Beams comes in for Moses Malone. And it's Rivers in for Thomas. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Donaldson, he's checked in for Elijah Wan. Abdul Jabbar comes in for Carl Malone. James Worthy's checked in for English. And it's Drexler in for Lever. McHale against Abdul Jabbar. Johnson can't get it to go. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Jordan, and it's good off the back rim and in. Jordan's got 55. Nothing wrong with the mid-range day to keep padding to the lead. And Kareem will need to get it going, Clark, to reach double digits. I think his teammates have to do a better job of getting them touches. Just keep feeding him. He's more than capable of getting there. Johnson, the pass to Donaldson. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And finished off by Drexler. You know, the alley-oop is a two-part play, folks. It takes a great pass, but it's much easier to execute the pass when you're throwing it to Clyde Drexler. The glide getting up and down. There's the drive. That's in. Wow. That's his Drexler. fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And here's Jordan outside. West All-Stars with the rebound. Boy, they got lucky on that one. There's the pass to Drexler. Wide open look. Another Wide spoon fed basket for Magic. Wasting no time on the catch. I love seeing Jackson go into attack mode right away. Shot and game clock separated by five. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 57 points. Guys, it's a one man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Johnson outside. And it's in after a nice pass off the right side. Johnson's got 17. Magic so adept at taking what the defense gives. Nice shot. Michael Jordan getting it done for the East. With the score. Going at an absolute Your rampage. Ace. Piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chicago for the 1988 All-Star Game. The grand finale of what's been a tremendous weekend to celebrate the NBA. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the East All-Stars. You take a look at the landscape of the NBA, and I tell you what, that Central Division dominated. How about this? 36 games above 500 combined. On the court for the West All-Stars, getting the fourth quarter going. Elijah Wan is out there with Malone. Then there's Drexler. Then it's Lever. And it's English, and it's a three spot. Good oh, read that time from Ewing defensively, yes. showing that he can be impactful at that end of the floor, too. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Elijah on the pass to English. 
Some nice passing here by the West. Good work there as it goes. 14 points for Clyde Drexler. Well, you look at that Central Division. All six teams on pace to make the playoffs. And, you know, Chicago got off to that great start, Kevin. Then they cooled off just a bit. Now it's high for Detroit at three games behind Atlanta. Those teams are great up pretty good. Lieber taking his time here. Pass to Drexler. Five to shoot. Seven-foot shot. In it goes for the eighth wow. time in ten tries. Clark wide open, high scoring both ways. These tremendous all-stars are putting on a tremendous show, Kevin. What a blast. And after the search division, the Midwest has been the second most competitive division. Both teams are sitting at 10 games over 500. Timeout time call here by the star. East. We're going to talk it over. And Clark in the Midwest, those Rockets are really making a push. And they're doing it behind Akeem Olajuwon. To me, he's the best center in the NBA. They certainly got a chance to give the Lakers a run for their money. Oh, yeah. Wilkins is checked in. Dominique Wilkins. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Malone finds English. Here's Elijah on, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And Clark, when you look at Akeem Elijah Wan's Houston Rockets, here is a team making a lot of moves. Three point two. Take a look at the for Joe Barry Carroll and Barry. Sleepy Floyd paying huge dividends. They're certainly on the rise in my mind. Yeah, a lot of people like those moves. Down the stretch here, the East Clark out in front. Getting it done. It's been such a fun game to watch. Entertaining from both sides. Whew, it sure has been. Jordan. Drexler with the block. And that's out of bounds. The East All-Stars will keep it. So for the West, Donaldson, he's checked in for Elijah. McDaniel comes in for Carl Malone. And Aguirre subbed in for England. Lever with it. Now Thomas defending. Let's go. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Lever's gone one of three from the field here. Three-pointer, Bird. And that's your three-point shooting champion, Larry Bird. And Larry Bird winning three straight MVP awards from 1983 to 1986. You know who the last player was to do that? Um, James. You know I'm going back to the 60-something. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you Bill know. Russell. Yeah, right. It's of Bill course. Russell, 1960 to 63. Of course. I'm glad we bring him up. A legend. Yep. And Commissioner David Stern in the house tonight. Since taking over four years ago, he's done a remarkable job helping guide this league to new unprecedented heights. Exactly. Pass to Donaldson. The rebound by Jordan. Jordan's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And they double up Jordan over Aguirre. Outside for Jordan. Beyond the arc, the vision of Larry Bird is not to be overlooked. Three Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. Defense! 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 Lieber outside. Drexler passes to Donaldson. And the 7 2 center from the Mavericks, James Donaldson. You know, I think he's the only lefty in this game. Larry Bird and Danny Ainge, right left handed but they shoot it with their right hand. You and I have talked about this before, but defending a lefty is different than defending clearly a right-handed shooter. Throws you off just a little bit, Kevin. Patrick Ewing's checked in for Jordan. McHale comes in for Larry Bird. And Cheeks is subbed in for Thomas. Then for the West All-Stars, Worthy's checked in for Drexler. And it's Johnson in for Lever. 
from deep three-point range. And another miss by the East. The West All-Stars with the ball. Nick Daniel, the pass to Aguirre. Worthy trying to break free. Second chance shot. Two minutes remaining in the game. Aguirre, no good. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Wilkins wide open. And he fired. Three ball. That one fall. Dominique. Off McKinnell's feet. And Dominique Wilkins is the go-to scorer for the Hawks. No question about that. And he's embraced that leadership role as well. Obviously a huge part of the Hawks' success. And the Mavericks' Mark McGuire actually got married last night. How about that? A big weekend for the DePaul product. That one falls. Maurice Cheeks has got his first bucket in this one. And Maurice Cheeks, Clark, the 6-1 playmaker for the Philadelphia 76ers. His third straight all-star appearance, and he's had a total of four in his what looks to be on the verge of a Hall of Fame career. What a terrific defender. Yes, he is. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Danny Ainge. The shot from 20 feet away. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Boy, probably fine that time by Worthy. I'm sure he could have taken that shot himself, but he'd rather find a teammate with a better look. Jordan is doubled. Fires at the elbow. Sheeks' has shot is good. Sheeks has got four points this quarter. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Johnson right side. That one no good. Now the East will take it the other way. A drive by Jordan. Michael Jordan showing the explosiveness that won in the dunk contest last night. They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. Here's Johnson. No good off the back of the rim. He's got a nice feel for the crossover, but you still have to finish it off. Jordan deciding where to go with it. And they double up Jordan. Six to shoot. Cheeks from outside. West All-Stars with the rebound. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Aguirre kicks to Johnson. Offensive rebound. Donaldson no good. Jordan with it. team and should have been favored Thank you, but you still got to go out and prove it and they game. did exactly Which that and so we much scoring in that lineup for the east my goodness look at those names that's that's always going to be tough to stop and you factor in the raucous crowd cheering on michael jordan kevin no wonder they found that extra gear they needed when it was time to get it done that's a good point this is kevin harlan saying You know when Michael Jordan has come to town, or you all. Cleveland, Chicago, and Denver. What can the Cavaliers do? Half-time denied. 
controlling the ball. They actually two on one him without the ball. Elo trying to catch back up. The shot's up. No, he misses. Cleveland is one in game five in the first round. Bench and the Bulls have won. You can never ever count Michael Jordan out. 